Introduction of Budgeting What is Budgeting? Budgeting is a financial plan or controlling method for the future concerning the revenues, costs, and profit gain from the projects. Budgets are estimated approved costs for the project or any other breakdown structure elements or any scheduled activity. A construction budget is used to anticipate the total cost of any given project, whether it's a new building or infrastructure works such as a railway, road, or bridge. Traditionally, it's been viewed as a means to facilitate and enable the process using the resources acquired, allocated among subunits, and consumed to achieve organizational objective. Bobaleski and Dersmith, 1986. Let's take a look of a budgeting framework. There are three elements in budgeting framework. There are budget committee, administration and preparation of budget, budget period, which is usually annually. Budget manual consists of information of guideline related to the projects. What are the type of budget? There are master budget, operating budget, cash budget, financial budget, labor budget, and static budget. In a project, value to achieve the efficiency and the effectiveness. Time, cost, and scope of works are three major elements. So, having a proper budget means having a plan showing exactly the project value, its objective, and management direction in utilizing the resources towards achieving the project goals and value. There are four budgeting methods. Incremental, using last year figure and most common method. Zero base, using assumption must be justified and approved by each new period. Performance base, the budget that reflect input and output rely on the evaluation of the productivity and outcome base, developed budget based on the relationship between fundings and expected results. Zero base budgeting is a management tool that complements and link the existing planning budgeting and review process. Lee and Shin, 1984. Importance of budgeting. A construction budget often determines how quickly the organization can complete a project. The level of skill management will higher and the types of technologies and equipment they can utilize. A smart budget is truly pre-planned to allow the organization to have the most productivity and efficiency while keeping the overhead costs in check. So there are three elements that are important. The excellent planning, the proper organization and the execution skills. The importance of having a good budget, better coordination in construction activities and scope of works, management are aware of the budget trends or changes, the operation and technical team become alert in cost controlling, the smooth review process can be implemented from time to time. Good budgeting in construction projects involve participating and coordinating financial and non-financial planning to ensure it is aligned with the organization objective and goals. There are five major budgeting process involved. Preliminary estimation, cost planning, cost checking, tender reconciliation, and post contract or cost control. The budgeting process involves calculation and planning control measures to forecast the profit and loss. In a construction project, there are steps in the budgeting process to ensure the risk and constraints are included and taken into consideration. Assalamualaikum, I am Putuna Aki Ashraf Yabdogani, and I will continue on characteristic of good budgeting. In a way of practicing good budgeting, there are some characteristics to be applied and practiced. Participation of all members are really matter to giving relevant and relevant assessment to make sure every opinion and interest has been properly considered. Comprehensiveness of the list of money in and money out. Overall item must be listed carefully in order to have most dependable de budgeting. Every evaluation and measurement must be standardized to ensure budget is almost error-free. In having good budgeting, the budget should be strengthening the teamwork and motivation of every member involved. Transparency is a crucial attribute to tell apart either the budget is good or vice versa. Fulfillment of top-down approach and bottom-up approach are the best way to have decisive feedback and sentiment. Flexibility in planning of good budgeting is a must to cater all uncertainties and future possibilities. There are few critical success factors to effective budgeting planning. Inaccuracy may happen during global inflation, sudden economic downturn, budget burst due change in interest rate, currency exchange rate, and commodity price. While rigid decision making related to zero based budgeting method with less innovation for improvement and difficult to reach the unforeseen opportunities. Next is time. Time required to produce a good budgeting planning to overcome the lack of expertise, data collection and analysis, and analysis of type of budgeting technique used are very time consuming. Unethical behavior regarding the fraud and any illegal activities may threaten the good budgeting plan to success. Expenses or allocation potential toward the disagreement. Expenses allocation potential toward the disagreement about the where spending parity should be placed. In a way to have a good budgeting, 
to implement a good budgeting technique in order to achieve the goal is an important element. There are few budgeting techniques and the first is incremental. Incremental technique is define a budget prepared by using the last year actual figure and add or subtract a percentage to obtain the current year budget. It is simple and easy to understand. For zero base, it begins to assume that all department budget are zero and must be decreated from the scratch. All expenses must be justified and approved for each new period. Performance based budget that reflect that into the resources and the output of services for each unit of an organization. And based of the evaluation of the productivity of the different operation in an organization. The operation that contribute the most the profitability receive a larger share of the budget. Next is outcome budget. Outcome budget is budget based on the relationship between funding and expected result. Most likely result oriented type of budgeting technique. Thank you Putra Akhil for the explanation. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Ami and I would like to continue this presentation by explaining about the component of operating budget in the construction project. As we know, the operating budget is a detailed statement showing all forecasted operational expenses and incomes during a particular period of time. It helps in tracking the company incomes and also expenses, thus it improves the efficiency of the company. The operating budget consisted of many budgets such as the sales budget, the production budget, the direct material budget, the direct level budget, the production overhead budget, the selling and administrative budget, and also the budgeted income statement. We start with the sales budget. The sales budget is a forecast the expected unit the company tends to sell over a period of time and the revenue, and the revenue that uh, they should generate from it. Next, the production budget is estimated number of units required for the production of the company to meet the anticipated sales. Next, the direct materials budget is to determine the quantity of the direct material is required according to production target level. The direct level budget is to determine the cost and hours of direct labor that required by a company for production. The production overhead budget is referred as an uh, indirect cost such as the utilities bills, the maintenance, the property taxes and also insurances. The selling and administrative budget is projection of operating expenses. It consists of the fixed and also variable costs such as the sales commission and also advertising fees. Last but not least, the budgeted income statement is the end product of this operating budget and it provides basis for the evaluating company performance. Next, we go to the budgeting tools in the construction project. There are many tools that can be used by a project manager in planning, monitoring and also controlling the budget in the construction industry. Firstly, it is the project budgeting software. This software is an essential tool for creating a curate budget and then tracking costs through the life cycle of the project. It provides project manager with real-time data that allows them to make more insightful decisions as they manage the project budget. Uh, for example, there are uh, software that name as the Pro, Its, and also Scoro. Next, the second tool is the work breakdown structure. The project manager can uh, use these work breakdown structure tools to distribute the project budget into defined package link to the task and check to make sure that the task cost in total do not exceed the total project cost. Last but not least, the project manager also can use the Earn Value Analysis tools. This standard method of measuring project's progress at any given point in time, forecasting its completion date and its final cost. It also analyzing the variances in the schedule and budget as the project uh, proceeds. Without further ado, I would like to explain about the sources of finance in the construction industry. These sources of finance are best discussed according to the type of developer that involved in the construction project, whether it is public developer or private developer. The public developer, such as the uh, standard government, state government and statutory, statutory body, have two options to choose from, whether it is from internal sources or external sources. So the internal sources, uh, the fund will come from the taxes or the tariff and levy, while the external sources is divided into two, which is the domestic market and also overseas market. The domestic market, we have the treasury bills for the short-term finance, and also the government bond for the long-term finance. While for the overseas market, the developer can apply for a loan from the World Bank, the Asia Development Bank or also IMF which is the International Monetary Fund. While for the private uh, developer, they also have two options, internal, internal and also external sources. The internal sources, the fund will come from themselves which is the return, from the return profit or the deferred payments such as the taxes and dividends. While the external sources offer from the domestic market and also the overseas market, uh, they uh, have a lot of options from the domestic market such as uh, overdraft, term loan, trade credit, letter of credit, higher purchase, factory and also bank guarantee for the short-term finance and they have mortgage, sell and lease back, share long-term loan for the uh, long-term finance while they also can apply for uh, a fund from the uh, uh, international uh, financial institutions such as the World Bank, Asia Development Bank and also IMF International Monetary Fund. That's all from me. I, I pass uh, this presentation to Amina. Hi and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Amira Binti Zainuddin and I'll be presenting on the case study. So based on our finding, 
we had chosen a Conley construction site for this assignment. This building is literally for residential and hotel, which is up to 78 levels. The developer of this project is KSK Group Sun Jamberhat, and this project has mainly started from 2019 and estimated to complete on December 2022. Plus, the contract sum of the project is 83 million ringgit Malaysia. So for the next for our case study is the technique used in this project is pricing tender during the tender stage and then compare it with the current stage of the project. Next, negotiation will be made with supplier and subcon to control the budget. For example, for pasar pricing, they will try to find alternative brands that will give same performance so that the budget is controlled. Overall, the budgeting financing tool we use uh, they use Microsoft Excel which will be more specific to measure the progress of it only and for the claim. To add All of this has caused problems and effect to the financial budgeting such as the first one is the supply cost can increase this is because during the movement control order MCO due to the covid-19 had affect the drastic increase and changes for the material price from supplier second one the labor cost is increased during the movement control order MCO the project has been delayed for almost one year and the management cannot claim VO variation order this has caused absorb and increase in labor cost Next, the current practice of the project is by obtaining the price from supplier. For instance, the pricing can be made based on the measurement of the facade and the type of facade. Hence, the price of tender can be compared to the price of the current stage. Thus, budgeting can be controlled. Assalamualaikum and uh, good evening. My name is Muhammad Nazir bin Uh For my part, I will uh, present on the sources of finance. Now we go to introduction to sources of finance. It is important for business entity to have sufficient funds to run their business activity, which may include to cater for production activities, businesses, administration, marketing expenses, and many others. The fund can be derived from several sources. OU and Hannes 2006 cited in Group U GN 2015 highlighted that equity capital, the capital invested in in the firm without a specific payment date, where the supplier of the equity capital is effectively investing in the business. Okay, now uh, we, we go to the uh, next slide. Uh, for the factor to be considered in selecting sources of finance, there are several factors need to be considered in deciding the appropriate sources of financing. The management shall wisely consider according to the priorities. There are two items that need to be considered. Number one is external environment condition. It should also be wisely considered by the business management before proceeding to option for financing. For easy reference, the current situation of pandemic of COVID-19 and unstable of domestic politics scenario might give greater impact to the overall economic condition and subsequently influence the business activities such as such reduction in volume of customer, the slower progress of construction activities, delay in receiving the inventory and many more. Another one is flexibility of financing shall be the important factor to be considered. Flexibility means that how the financing facility can give business management or owner medium to rearrange their payment length and their facilities duration. Okay, now we look at the Ed Conley Company success of finance. Ed Conley Company having their bankers acceptance, be a facility with Hollyong Bank, Berhad Branch, Jalan Sultan Ismail, Bukit Bintang, with accumulated facilities the one of RM83 million. Actually, BA, also known as the multi trade facilities, are instrument of guarantee of future payment by the bank to the supplier of creditor based on creditor issue issuing invoice in case the company purchaser unable to pay the creditor with the credit term duration stipulated in the invoice. Bank will make the payment to the creditor on behalf of the company in such amount treated as a loan to the company. Okay, now we go to the financial decision. Malaysia and the COVID-19 pandemic impact the construction company. The whole world has been affected by the spread of COVID-19 pandemic in the recent years. S22 is currently facing the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic. Chief Executive said IDB in Malaysia that to IR Ahmad Asri Abdul Hamid 2020 explained that the construction industry is under scrutiny as work resumed under all the service movement control order. CIDB exhort all contractors to adhere to the MCO SOP set out to maintain their expiration, keep their workers safe and site open. Current contractor will risk their site being shut down, most likely for an extended period. CIDB in collaboration with Ministry of Work KKR launch an instruction video through their official CIDB TV channel of the 10 new normal SOP to be obeyed and practiced by a construction project lead by project manager in charge. Okay, now we go to financial decision taken by Ed Conley Company to survive during COVID-19 pandemic. There are five issues that have been taken during the pandemic over the financial decision. Issue number one is our provision and quantify. The solution is inventory. There are five uh, solutions under issue one. Number one is build up capacity to be utilized for production, frequency, increment, and batch size to be minimized. Number two, weekly shutdown must be planned and less necessary supplier delivery to be delayed where possible. Number three, identify disruption in the supply chain and plan for cash impact. Number four, early production to be avoided and to prioritize immediately cash return tasks. Number five, slow moving and 
sensitive material to be disposed by offering discount or use it on necessary site and explore asset based lending. Issue number two, productivity below target and expectation. The solution is right size cost structure. Actually, it's immediate right sizing need to be done in order to fit the company portfolio performance in trim shape and size. It's required unprecedented tailoring that demand resources, manpower, and cost flexibility by design to boost the productivity and gain more revenue. Issue number three, escalating interest charge from project fund company. The solution, moratorium loan. Malaysia Builders Association Malaysia MBAM has been liaising with Bank Negara in providing moratorium of fish loan that Ed Connolly Company took with bank to be paid could be delayed or reduced monthly charge to lessen the burden of company negative financial impact. Okay, now we go to financial decision taken by Ed Connolly Company to survive during COVID-19 pandemic. There are five issues that have been taken during the pandemic over the financial decision. Issue number one is our provision and quantify the solution is inventory. There are five uh, solutions under issue one. Number one is build up capital city to be utilized for production, frequency, increment, and batch size to be minimized. Number two, factory shutdown must be planned and less necessary supplier delivery to be delayed where possible. Number three, identify disruption in the supply chain and plan for cash impact. Number four, early production to be avoided and to prioritize immediately cash return tasks. Number five, slow moving and accelerate material to be disposed by offering discount or use it on necessary site and explore asset based lending. Issue number two, productivity below target and expectation. The solution is right size cost structure. Actually, it's immediate right sizing need to be done in order to fit the company portfolio performance in trim shape and size. It's required unprecedented tailoring that demand resources, manpower, and cost flexibility by design to boost the productivity and gain more revenue. Issue number three, escalating interest charge from project fund company. The solution, moratorium loan. Malaysia Builders Association Malaysia MBAM has been liaising with Bank Negara in providing moratorium of fish loan that Ed Connolly Company took with bank to be paid could be delayed or reduced monthly charge to lessen the burden of company negative financial impact.